All right, for this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, crimp a female side connector on a Cat5 E cable. Um, the last video I did showed you how to do a male end. Uh, the female end isn't particularly hard, um, but you do need to have the jack and a punch down tool. Now, one good thing to remember, because I, I obviously made the mistake, is the cutter end goes on the outside on the outside. If you don't, you'll wind up cutting into the center part or your wire, basically wasting your time. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is cut the outer jacket. You can always cut more. In this one, actually, that's probably too short. That's more close to a male end jacket removal. Um, go ahead and give yourself lots here. That tool I've been using is a universal tool for coax, ethernet, uh, just a wire cutter. You can set the depth. You can do all kinds of stuff like that. Um, all you really need is just a, a razor blade. Go by hand, be careful, or scissors. All right, so now we have that terminated. We can separate them. We'll do that here in a second. Looking at this jack, let's get familiar with it for a second here. This one specifically says Cat5e, got it at Home Depot. Uh, they are a little pricey, you know, you can get them online cheaper, uh, but for what I was doing with it, I'm just, I just bought these. It was co more convenient to get them there. Alright, now, remember, while well, I talked on the male, male side, B and A. B, household, what you're going to use it for is routers, uh, patch cables, that kind of stuff. A is all commercial stuff. You'll probably never use it unless you're doing this because you're going to be doing commercial stuff. All right, it's really easy to work with. On top here, it shows you where the colors go. I like the sides here. It's more clear and uh, simple as that. You just crimp it down. Uh, now, tricks of the trade, which I'm just a hobbyist, so I learn the hard way about everything, is work from this way, the, the back side, in. That way you don't crush any wires. You'll see what I mean when we get to it. Alright, go ahead and separate all the wires. Same thing as before. Don't untwist any more than you have to, so only go to the jacket. Go ahead and untwist them all. Do the prep work in advance and untwist them. Don't try to do it in the middle of it. Alright, so you got them all untwisted. So, you got solid green and solid blue. So what you do is, go ahead and press it in there. Press in. Now, comes the fun part. You get to make noise. Alright, so you're going to hold your connector. So more specifically, the connector. Remember, little blade on the outside, and you just simply punch down punch down alright and then green striped and then blue striped now I know this is really easy it's sitting right here the ones that I had to do in my house were oh and if you're lucky it'll cut it right off um, I've already used this jack so it's kinda of crappy but you get the gist. Yeah, it's not even staying in there. Anyways, uh, I was doing it on the wall, so it's hanging. Just get your, do yourself a favor and get a little box or a stool or something to stick under and, and uh, punch down on. Otherwise, it's a real pain in the butt trying to hold it, and your fingers will be happy. All right. And then punch these down. Did that kind of out of order? Yeah, you really don't want to nick those wires.
And like I said, the only reason why they're not falling off here is because this thing's tired. Alright, so ideally these have all fallen off and I mean I could cut them off, but matter of time, I'm not going to mess around with it. Make sure you put your dust shield on here. I mean, it would normally sit down, but I got these. And when you punch it down in there, basically you're just creating the electrical connection for your signal to travel. Alright, so now that that's done. That's it. That easy. Now, you place it into your jack like so and you're done.